Hi everybody, welcome to my video about touring around the realm of the galaxies. It is spring, so it's time for the galaxies to be on view because the Milky Way is almost close to the horizon. So we're looking in the evening sky way out into intergalactic space and seeing all these wonderful galaxies. So let's have a look and see what's happening, what we can see. Don't forget, my Sky Diary is available on YouTube and this video of course is on YouTube so don't forget to like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and there it is down at the bottom there. Okay so if we look middle of the month this is May at about 10 o'clock in the evening you can see looking north we've got Ursa Major which is almost overhead at the moment we've got Ursa Minor the little bear and Draco meandering in between the two. Cassiopeia is fairly low down but it's now starting to rise up at that time of night and Cepheus as well and the Milky Way as you can see is fairly low to the horizon it's just starting to rise so it's great for landscape um, Milky Way images at this time of the night because it's fairly low to the horizon and you get it in lovely landscape shots so get out there with your cameras and see if you can capture some. Okay these are the constellations that are setting so the winter stars are disappearing down here you've got Perseus, Auriga, the charioteer, Gemini, the twins there. And of course, Mars is fairly low down by that time of night. And the middle of May, it, the moon's going to be fairly close as well. And you've got Cancer, which is now getting lower. Hydra, which is almost touching the horizon here. And then, of course, we've got Leo fairly high up, but it's now starting to get low. And that's where we're going to start our tour around the sky. These are the constellations rising. Uh, again, this is the Milky Way, fairly low to the horizon. Uh, Virgo over here, where we're going to talk about all the galaxies and there. Bertes, the Herdsman, Hercules, Lyra, Cygnus. Uh, so these are the stars that are getting higher and higher each evening, so they will be getting much easier to view. And then a Fucus over here, the Serpent Bearer, and then Scorpius. So you know summer's really on its way when Scorpius, the claws of Scorpius, start to show themselves above the horizon in the late evening. But these are the stars that are at the highest, so this is where all the galaxies are. Uh, Gemini setting over here, Cancer, Hydra, as we said, fairly low to the horizon, but Leo is still fairly high up, so we're going to start our tour around Leo. Going to go into Coma Berenices and into Virgo. Booties, we're not really going to talk about just to give you a show of where we are and there's Libra and Hercules over here and of course Ursa Major up here as well which has got a few galaxies in as well so we're going to explore that too okay so we're going to start with Leo here it is the bright star Regulus over here and of course we've got a number of Messier objects visible there we've got Messier 95 Messier 96 and Messier 105. This isn't the Leo triplet, but they are fairly close together, um, but uh, they're not that close together that they make a nice uh, view like the Leo triplet. So here's the Leo triplet, Messier 65, Messier 66, and NGC 3628, which is also known as the Hamburger Galaxy. And here's an image I took a while ago uh, showing uh, the three. So here's M66, M65, and this is NGC 3628, which is a bit fainter than these two, uh, but it's got this lovely uh, dust lane going across it. You can see why the Milky Way looks like the Milky Way with this dust lane and the stars and absorbing material all the way along there. It's an absolutely fantastic edge on the galaxy there. And these are spiral galaxies in the barred spiral here, and they are slightly face on to us um but not quite edge on and not quite face on as well okay but the one object please try and have a look at especially if you're imaging because it's a real challenge it is over near regulus and that's leo one this is a dwarf galaxy and here's an image i took quite a while ago and you can see here's regulus very bright in this image and just up here you might be forgiven for thinking let's move me out of the way just in case it's obstructing the image and you can see that this brightening here is the galaxy the dwarf galaxy visible very very close to regular so you see this other little galaxy here uh, it's much more diffuse and smaller but this dwarf galaxy is much bigger and 
you could almost miss that if you didn't know it was there. So have a look out for Leo 1 just close to Regulus. Now we're going to start our tour in Virgo. Here's Virgo. You can see that we've got the tail of Leo here. So the Leo triplet was just about here somewhere. And as we come off the tail of Leo, this is the best way to explore. Uh, but it's difficult to get lost around here because there's so many faint fuzzies with all these galaxies. So we've got M98, M99 and M100 just off the tail of Leo by Dan Abela. And then M100, I was out there a few days ago and I managed to get this lovely image of the spiral arm showing off really, really nicely and lots and lots of these faint fuzzies around it as well, which I've marked on this image here. So absolutely fantastic galaxy with these wonderful spiral arms and all that structure showing within the galaxy as well. If we come down, we've got Markarian's chain and that's an area just around here. There it is. And if we look at that in a bit more detail, this is an image taken by Oli Penrice down at Lagrange in France. And you can see this wonderful chain of galaxies going across here. So it's really easy to get lost in this area and there's a number of Messier objects in there as well as NGC objects so we've got M84, M86, you've got the eyes NGC 5535 and 5538 really close together here and then a few other NGC galaxies make up the rest of the chain there are a few other faint ones in there as well but I haven't marked those as well we've got Messier 88 up here another lovely spiral galaxy M89, M90 again shows quite a bit of structure in the galaxy. But down here is the biggest one of them all, M87, absolutely huge galaxy. Here it is, is an image I took a while ago. Now, the thing people try and capture is the jet in this galaxy. If your image scale is too small, what you normally capture is these two small galaxies over here. And people think that's the jet but it's not, you have to enlarge it a little bit bigger and you can just about see the jet in my image here. That was taken a few years ago. Um, but if you look at professional instruments and look at the images they can produce, this is the jet coming off that central active area in the galaxy, which is absolutely huge. And of course, driving that in the center of the galaxy is this black hole. So we've had this wonderful image returned by the uh, Event Horizon Telescope collaboration, which shows changes as the black hole or the material around the black hole is rotating. And recently they showed this polarized version as well. So show this wonderful structure within that as well. Okay, so moving back up through our tour of Virgo. So that's Markarian's chain up there. So wandering down, we come to M58. M59 and M60 and then coming right down here is M104 now that's one that's on my radar because there could be a lot of structure I might be able to uh, tease out of that with the right equipment so here's an image I took quite a while ago or oh, actually last year last November and you can see the uh, galaxy and this dark absorbing dust lane across there and it's the Sombrero galaxy Messier 1 and if you can't find it, just have a look for this little arrow because that tells you, yes, that's it because it's over there. There it is. So find that little arrow and it'll point you in the direction to where the galaxy is. Okay, moving on, we're going to come up. Here's the tail of Leo again, and we come up to Coma Berenices. Berenices hair. And there's a few objects in there, really nice. M53, the globular cluster. And then there's M64. Here it is, it's the Black Eye Galaxy, and you can see some wonderful structure taken in here just a couple of weeks or so ago through my telescope, some wonderful structure in there, and these wonderful spiral arms tightly bound around it as well. And then not too far away from there is the Edge on Spiral Galaxy, NGC 4565. Here it is, the Needle Galaxy, as they call it, and you can see a few faint fuzzies around it as well. So uh, that's an absolutely fantastic object to uh, image there. And the dark absorbing material going across there, very similar to the Hamburg Nebula, shows up really, really nicely in these exposures. 
And then going up here, we've got two galaxies, NGC 4631 and NGC 4656 stroke seven. It's two objects interacting with each other. And here they are. It's the whale galaxy with the calf swimming just above it. And down here, we've got the hockey stick galaxy as well. And here's one I took uh, a couple of weeks ago showing the whale galaxy in a little bit more detail and the calf swimming just above it. And if you look carefully, you can see some really faint galaxies way, way off in the distance, much, much more remote than uh, the whale is. OK, continuing our tour, we're going to go up to Ursa Major. So here's the seven stars of the plow, Alcor and Mizar, of course, over here. There's M108 just at the bottom of the bowl of the plow and M97, the owl nebula. And here it is. So let's just move me out of the way again so you can see that. So this is M108, Messier 108, sometimes known as the uh, surfboard galaxy. And here's the owl nebula, this wonderful planetary nebula. Of course, it's got nothing to do with planets. It's just a star in the last stage of its life throwing out some of its outer atmosphere to try and keep its burning going, which it's going to lose eventually, of course. And of course, some people call these the owl and the pussycat. So have a look for those just below the bottom end of the bowl of the plow. Carrying on our journey on the other side of the bowl of the plow, we've got Messier 109, which is an absolutely fantastic barred spiral galaxy. It's got this bar going across and these wonderful spiral arms going off there and a few little fuzzies around it as well. And until somebody actually mentioned it on social media, yes, that does look a little bit like a TIE fighter in the middle of that galaxy. Carrying on our journey, Messier 106, Messier 94, and then coming around here, we've got Messier 63, really, really nice bright galaxies, and this wonderful sunflower galaxy with these this flocculated uh, structure within it. So I'm going to try and uh, get it in a little bit more detail and see if we can uh, get a bit more structure out of that on a much better night. And then carrying on our journey up towards the handle of the plow, we've got Messier 51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. So here it is, these two interacting galaxies here. And you see the stream of stars coming off that have been forced off the galaxy due to this gravitational interaction between the two galaxies. Absolutely wonderful. And then on the other side of the tail of the plough, you've got Messier 101. Again, it's a spiral galaxy, almost face on to us, but it's much bigger and much more spread out than M51. And you can see these very loose spiral arms looking absolutely wonderful. So really, that is my tour. And before we finish, there's M81 over here on the other side of the plow, just above, and M82. And of course, if you've got a small telescope and get and have a look at those with a wide field of view, you can see the two galaxies in the same field of view looking absolutely wonderful because they're such contrasting galaxies and the shapes are so distinctly different. So here's Messier 81 or Bode Galaxy as it's known, and this is M82, or the Cigar Galaxy, which is, got, which is a very, very active galaxy with all this hydrogen alpha stuff around the center showing just how active it is. So again, I'm going to use my Mac Newt at some point to get those in a bit greater detail and see if I can get a bit more structure, especially in the uh, Cigar Galaxy Messier 82. Okay, hope you enjoyed my tour around the realm of the galaxies, if you want to know what's happening in the uh, sky throughout the month or going into the future even, go to my Skydive, which we can download and use the Team Up app to carry it around with you. And that's star-gazing.co.uk forward slash diary. Here's what it looks like. So there's three diaries. There's the Skydive, which tells you what's happening in the sky and what to see. There's the red calendar which tells you all about space activities and events that I hear about are going on, and I put those in there as well. And then space dates is general sort of anniversaries of space dates, of things that have happened in space flight, et cetera, et cetera, that I hear about as well. So I put those all on there, and it's all freely available, star-gazing.co.uk forward slash diary. Don't forget, 
like the video if you've liked it of course and subscribe to my youtube channel if you find my videos useful don't forget the virtual astronomy club trying to keep astronomy sociable during these times it is on the first and the third tuesday of every month at 7 p.m british summer time so it's 6 p.m universal time at the moment uh, and that's available virtual stroke astro stroke club dot com so come along join us join in the fun okay hope you enjoyed the video see you soon bye bye